Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. In this edition of the Lifestyle Medicine Update, I want to highlight a September 2016 review paper that showed that the addition of vitamin D supplements to standard asthma medication can lead to fewer severe asthma attacks in patients who suffer from mild to moderate asthma. So the review assessed nine double-blind placebo-controlled trials that involved 435 children and 658 adults with predominantly mild to moderate asthma. Now overall, vitamin D supplementation was associated with a significant reduction in the rate of asthma exacerbations treated with systemic steroid drugs. So in the vitamin D treated group, the average number of annual attacks decreased from 0.44 to 0.2 per person. That's a 50% reduction in the number of asthma attacks. Vitamin D supplementation also decreased the risk of asthma attacks requiring hospitalization or a visit to the emergency department from six to around three per 100 patients. That's also a reduction of 50%. However, most of this data applied to adults. Researchers are unsure at this time if these findings extend to children or the pediatric management of asthma. But if you're an adult with asthma, or you know someone who is, the doctor should now be encouraged to assess the patient's blood level of vitamin D. We know that individuals with vitamin D blood levels below 75 nanomoles per liter appear to stand the best chance of benefiting from vitamin D supplementation with respect to asthma control. The truth is that most people are walking around with a blood level of vitamin D that is below 75 nanomoles per liter, so it should be checked out. As one of the researchers stated, at this point, it would be perfectly legitimate for general practitioners, pediatricians, and even pulmonologists who are following people with asthma to put them on 500 to 1,000 IUs of vitamin D per day. And then they continued, for adults who have persistent exacerbations, measuring vitamin D levels would also be justified, and if they have low levels, you give them more to make sure you get their blood level above 75 nanomoles per liter. So how might vitamin D help to reduce the frequency and severity of asthma attacks? Well, the researchers explain that vitamin D has anti-inflammatory effects on the lungs and it, it also induces antimicrobial mechanisms. That means that it blocks the replication of bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms that are often found in sort of respiratory secretions in those who have asthma. So I think these findings are significant is the prevalence of asthma in Canada has been increasing over the last 20 years. It's now estimated that about 3 million Canadians have asthma. In the United States, 1 in 12 people, or 25 million uh, people overall, or 8% of the U.S. population had asthma in 2009, compared to 7% in 2001. Slightly more children than adults have asthma, but a lot of adults do have it. So in my view, if more optimal vitamin D levels can help reduce the frequency and severity of asthma attacks, it makes sense to explore this option with your doctor if you have asthma or if you know someone who has asthma. So I've included a link to the research in the text below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.